Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader and I'm an evolutionary astrologer. I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 19th to the 27th of May 2017. We've had a very turbulent two weeks. A lot of clients and a lot of friends found themselves in some kind of drama and people were overly dramatic. People were caught up in the moment, uh, got offended and hurt over nothing and carried away by emotions and not necessarily the positive kind. This week is still very emotional and we have to put our intellectual and cognitive boundaries so we don't get carried away into the melodrama. On the 20th of May we have the moon in Pisces conjunct Neptune. This is a time that we can feel a little bit out of time and space and like astronauts floating somewhere in, uh, in that uh, in deep space nine. This is a great time to involve ourselves in endeavors that are either artistic, that are uh, conversing with the muses, or are spiritual. It's a great time for these activities. It's less so for activities that need us to be on the here and now and, and work with our left brain. So be easy with yourselves, because later on that day, the moon will square Mars and then square Saturn. So we could have a lot of emotions, heightened emotions, and some anger, probably over the fact that we've been so lazy uh, earlier in the day, or other people have, or spaced out. And then a lot of criticism. So be aware of that and, and be more objective. On the 21st, the moon is on Chiron, it's a moon in Aries, on Chiron, square Saturn. It's a time that we can be very sensitive, that we want to take things forward, but we end up touching our uh, nerve ends and our own pains and getting a lot of criticism or some doom and gloom feelings about it. So again, use your mind. This is a good time to be logical and refrain from being carried away with emotions. The 22nd and the 23rd, are much better days. On the 22nd, we still have the Moon in Aries, conjunct Venus, squaring Pluto. So when the Moon is conjunct Venus, this is a great time for any artistic or just any pastime that we can enjoy, including food, drink, beauty, aesthetics, anything connected with the art, and of course, people, people we love. It's a great time to celebrate our existence. The fact that it squares Pluto says that it could be a little bit too extreme, everything we, we are involved in, and we need to be aware that we need to, again, put some boundaries and not get carried away into the melodrama and not lose our proportions or become obsessive regarding things that uh, are not up to us. On the 23rd, we have the Moon conjunct Uranus, uh, trining Saturn. This is a great day for transformation. This is a great day for taking things forward. It's a great day to fasten, to uh, uh, fasten up the pace, to, to really assume a, a faster pace and, and walk forward in life into a new road, into a new exciting realm we haven't seen before. The trying to Saturn will make us much more logical and, and uh, responsible and adult about things and help us uh, and helps us to really establish things in a much more stable manner. It's a good day. On the 24th, we have the Moon in Taurus already, conjunct Mercury, Queen Kong Sing Jupiter. What is that all about? It's a day with a lot of information, a lot of movement, sideways, forward, and backwards, a lot of thinking about navigation, about ideas, about concepts, about information coming in and coming out, a lot of commerce, ideological or intellectual commerce with our surroundings. And we really, you know, since this is a moon in Taurus, the moon really requires a lot of peace and quiet. So if we can lower and, and, and uh, take a bit, take our, our legs a bit off the gas pedal and lower our velocity, that would be 
very good. And the fact that there's a queen conx to Jupiter talks exactly about that. Don't try to cater to everybody. Don't try to take everything upon your shoulders and wear out your energies too thin over too many projects. Concentrate and put your priorities straight. That brings me to, to the 25th. On the 25th, we have a super new moon in Gemini. We have three super moons this year on the 26th of April, 25th of May, and 24th of June. And they're all new moons, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a great new start in what in Gemini regarding our commerce with the environment, our, 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 <coughs> sorry, our ideas, uh, the way we communicate, and uh, new knowledge coming in or spreading out. The input and output is immense, you know. We're learning so much and we could be teaching a lot as well. And why are we learning a lot and teaching so much? Because we need to adapt and update our concepts and our ideas so we could be much more emotionally secure, the moon. I want you to remind yourselves that every new moon, a day before, a day after, is a time of an energetic imprint that stays with us for the next lunar cycle of 29.5 days. So be very aware of the energies you send out and receive during these three days because we don't want any negativity to stick. We want it as positive and as clean as possible. On the 27th, we have the moon still in Gemini, conjunct Mars, opposing Saturn, squaring Chiron. Hard day. Very sensitive with that Chiron, very critical with that Saturn over ourselves as well, not only over other people. And conjunct Mars, emotional, and that could bring some anger and rage to the table. So that would be a very good day to take it easy and be extra logical <laughs> and take everything into proportions. That being said, this is a transformative period. You know, and when the supermoon is here and the emotions are heightened, every supermoon is a time when the moon is extra close to Earth. So the tides are uh, stronger, everything that has liquid is affected, including our own bodies, and definitely our emotions. We become much more emotional. But it is also a, a, a great transformative time on an emotional level that changes from inside out. Changes us from inside out. So it's not hard. It, it's not easy to change. Transformation is not an easy thing to do. So, you know, one of my clients wrote me last week and said, you know, you look so strong during this hard period and I told her really I don't feel that strong I feel like I'm struggling and she said that's only because you are changing things it's only because you are progressing and she was right change is not easy transformation on a deep level is not easy if it was we would have done it all the time so acknowledge the struggle that you are involved in to make your life a better life for yourself and other people around you and nature and the world at large. And recognize the effort that it takes and be kind for you. Be kind to yourselves and others in your environment. I wanna thank you for listening. And of course, for private consultations, for readings, for courses or private lessons, I would be very happy that you contact me. Have a beautiful, very positive week. Amen. This is Boaz Father signing out. Goodbye.